Alright everyone, what's going on? It's Spartan Warrior 5 again today with another Black Ops commentary. And today I am playing a bit of Headquarters on Radiation using the Commando Silenced with Ghost Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Ninja. Using Frag Grenades and Stun Grenades. <coughs> oh, there we go. Alright. We're good to go. Um, today I'm just going to be talking about a little bit about match variety and playing the objective. Now what I mean by about match variety is this. I really noticed recently that basically what I play throughout any first person shooter genre is sort of a team deathmatch based game. And this of course is team deathmatch. Killzone 3, it's uh, guerrilla warfare in crisis if I ever play it. Uh, it's uh, in team in action. And it's really, I mean, it's getting dull, to be honest. I mean, it's like, it's the same thing over and over and over again. I mean, it's too simple. So what I've decided is, I'm going to be trying to basically branch off, and I edited that out a little bit. There's going to be a few edits in this video. Uh, what I've decided is that I'm going to be branching off and basically playing other game types. And recently, I've really been falling in love with... Uh, headquarters as you can see here and I'll also play domination but demolition just you never really can really find a good game of demolition so I'm just sticking with these two for right now I really haven't tried out any other game types for any other game so I can't really you know say I'm playing this or that so right now I'm just referencing Call of Duty but here's where my next point comes in and that's playing the objective and a lot of people I've been seeing comments are saying, oh, we'd rather see someone, you know, play the objective and, you know, get a horrible score than, you know, just watch a bunch of kill whores go through and not pay attention to the objective. And basically what I'm trying to do is I'm playing the objective as much as I can. Sometimes you'll see, me, like earlier in the video, I wasn't really playing the objective but in a sense, people could say, oh, I'm defending the uh, bomb, the headquarters, excuse me, defending it from anyone else trying to capture it. But this is clearly playing the objective, where I just capture the uh, headquarters by myself and then try to defend it. But you're going to see, I have, spoiler alert, I have four captures and eight defends in this video. Now, some people are going to be like, well, that's really playing the objective. Other people, I'm not sure if they're going to be like, ah, oh, that's nothing, you know, I'm a real objective player, I get like 50 freaking defends in this, you know. But uh, in my eyes, that's pretty much playing the objective, you know, quite well. And in this match, we actually beat these guys 250 to 0. They did not capture the headquarters once. So I'm really proud of that fact. I think this is the best headquarters match I've ever had because, really, I did a lot of objective play but also I got a really nice KD as you'll see at the end of this video and really I agree with people I would rather see people play the objective than just kill whore because really all you're seeing is the same thing over and over again when you play the objective it's really I'm not I don't really say like different style gameplay or like uh, ever-changing gameplay the situations are getting different but I mean it's like it just gets entertaining to see that you know these people have bad games as well because not every game they have is like nearly perfect you know they're human they make mistakes too so I mean it just it's nice to see that you know they're not always just posting up their best games because you know what these, so far, I've only been posting my best games. I have terrible games sometimes, as you will might have seen in my uh, Crisis 2 live commentary series. Those are pretty much average games for me, you know? For as Crisis 2 goes, uh, I haven't done a Call of Duty live commentary session yet, so maybe I'll do that in the near future. Um, I mean, it's like objective gameplay, it's more entertaining to watch, because... We all see kill whoring. It's there all the time. It's like we want to see something new. So hopefully I'll be showing you guys something different with these videos. Um, I have another domination gameplay where I go, I think, 52 and 17. 
and I have a lot of captures and defends in that gameplay. So I'll be posting that one up soon. And it's just, you know, playing the objective while also getting a good score. It's entertaining gameplay. But I mean, every time I try joining one of these sort of objective game types, I mean, it's full of people who are just so concerned about their KDR that, you know, they just don't care about the objective. They just use the objective to get their kills because they know, oh, this person is going to be playing the objective. Let's just camp it out over here and just get all of our kills. That's how most of it always goes. Or your players just, or excuse me, your teammates won't go for the objective because they're so freaking scared of, you know, losing their KDR or, you know, get, blemishing their KDR. People really need to start realizing that this is just a video game. Your KDR means nothing. It's not going to get you chicks. It's not going to get you a raise at your job. It's just there. All right? And I think people really care too much about their KDR because, you know what? They won't go for objectives. I'll be, like, the only one at an objective site trying to capture or dis destroy, you know? And it's kind of pathetic, really, that these people care so much about their perfect KDR that they can't even go for a flag or they can't even go for a plant. It's disgusting. So, what else do you guys think? Do you think that uh, people care too much about their KDs and that they don't go for objectives? I mean, what are some of your experiences in uh, objective game types when you're the, like, how should I say this? You're not in a party. You're just playing by yourself. Because right here, I'm not in any party. I'm just, you know, joined a random game with a bunch of random people. So, what are your thoughts about this? Do you think, uh... Well, actually, I have no idea where I'm going with this. So, I'm going to be trying to post up more sort of different game types. For Black Alps, at least. Because I have a lot of Team Deathmatch. That's basically what all of my video uploads consist of, are just team deathmatches. So the video is wrapping up soon, guys. Uh, let me know if you enjoy this, you know, kind of game, where it's like me playing the objective and not really caring about my KD. Do you guys really care how good my KDR is in games? At least, like, do you really care more about the uh, sort of entertainment value, or do you really care about the whole better KDR value? So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I have plenty more gameplays coming up soon here. Uh, I also have some Assassin's Creed Brotherhood hopefully coming up. I've got plenty more coming up here, guys. So just stick around, you know. Hope you guys enjoy. Just, you know, kind of uh, dragging this out a bit because I don't know what else to talk about. Also, let me know some other topic ideas. And also more of like a schedule idea. Because I want to be able to schedule out my videos, and also have like videos where it's me talking about sort of things that you wouldn't normally think about. Like, take for example the whole ancient aliens theory. No one really thinks about that on a daily basis, or you know, you know, think of college on a daily basis. So just give me some more ideas about that, guys. Thanks for watching. I end score will come up here soon. It's gonna flash. I went 30 and three with. I think four captures, eight defends, is it? Here it comes, it's coming. Here it comes, here we go. And there it is. 33, 4, 8 or 9, I can't tell. So I hope you guys enjoyed. More commentaries to come. Any ideas, leave in the comment section below. See you later, peace out, have a great day.